and my wife, ever since we got together, we've always wanted several children, you know. Yeah, and we would see on television that they were in desperate need of foster parents, and we drove by the child help office several times and talked about it, and one day we had some time and we just went in. And it was really intense and really exciting. There are thousands of children today who are abused, abandoned, or their parents simply just can't care for them. And so we're always looking for qualified parents who will give them a nurturing and loving home. Being a foster parent is a serious decision to make, but it's also a rewarding one. The Foster Family Agency matches children in need with warm, loving families people with a desire to open their hearts to a child alone in the world. Well, we stopped in Child Help on a Thursday. Our first training was that Saturday, and a month later, a four-year-old boy was placed with us. Foster parents don't have to be rich or famous. Instead, they must be able to provide such things as adequate care, a safe home, a positive attitude, strong morals, and social values. Foster parents don't specifically choose their foster children, but can indicate factors like age ranges, gender, and length of care required. Foster families are never on their own. Child Help provides a whole range of support to ensure success for everyone involved. From day one, we've received continual support from Child Help um, with training, thorough trainings, and we have a clinical coordinator that comes by once a week if we have any questions for her. Uh, she's there to answer them, and in an emergency situation, we have help 24-7 with the hotline. Clinical coordinators make sure foster families have what they need to succeed. Well-trained, caring foster parents make a world of difference in the lives of these children. And crisis intervention specialists are available 24 hours a day for foster parents and children. We carefully screen our foster parents. Um, we check their home to ensure that it is safe for children and that it meets all state regulations. And we also train our foster parents before they become certified and after. That training takes place in a classroom setting, but also in the home setting as well. They're able to do self-study and discuss that with their social worker. We want to make sure that our foster parents are able to meet the emotional, physical, and mental needs of our children. Once a child joins a foster family, the Foster Family Agency is committed to providing care to the entire family, foster children, biological children, and parents. Stability within the foster family is critical to making the children feel safe and secure, and in helping the parents sustain a nurturing environment. Respite care is one of the unique services that the Foster Family Agency offers. This is for the foster parents to get away. Maybe they have a travel occasion where they cannot take the child or children with them. Maybe they have an emergency or an overnight stay just for adults and children are not allowed. And so this respite care will allow the parents to have some time by themselves and not interrupting the daily routine of the child or children in the home. Foster families are part of the larger Foster Family Agency Network across the U.S. As part of child help, there is a solid base of coordinated staff, support, and resources, all devoted to the welfare of these children who need it the most. Every year, they have an annual family picnic get-together and just have a fun day of events, and we get to meet other foster parents and families, and it's a great support for us because we're all in the same situation. Foster home placements may be a long-term placement or as short as a few days, and there's a special need for placing foster teens. Whenever possible, Child Help wants to reunite foster children with their biological families. In other situations, children may be adopted. Being a foster parent has been very challenging, but very, very rewarding. Yeah, we fostered um, several children and have been able to adopt four. Uh, from infant to teenager, we've adopted all of them. And our first uh, foster child, Damien, when we told him we were going to adopt him, he said, ah, finally, it's about time. <laughs> it's really funny. I can't imagine my life or our lives without him. No, not at all. 
Whether the foster home is a temporary solution until a child can be reunited with their family or the gateway to permanent adoption, our nurturing, loving foster family relationships are the key to success, making a lasting difference in children's lives. Being the foster parent responsible for that success is a lifelong reward.